Hey everyone, welcome to Moving Matt. We do all things cameras with a dash of vlogs and a little bit of travel. And today is Thanksgiving and I wanna to get to eating and I'm sure you do too. So I am gonna quickly go over some of the best deals that I've seen for photographers or videographers. I'm gonna lump those two together because I know everybody loves that. So a lot of these deals are for Black Friday as of now, but I'm sure they will extend out to Cyber Monday and even further into the holidays. So even if you're catching this at a later time, then hopefully you haven't missed out. So one more thing before we get into it, I do not have affiliate links at this time, so I encourage you to maybe go to one of your favorite YouTubers and use their affiliate links. I'm sure they will appreciate that. But if you find value in this video, something you can do for me is hit that like button and consider subscribing. But for now, let's jump into it. Pretty much all these deals are at both Adorama and B&H, so you can kind of choose which one works best for you. So I'm gonna start off with Canon, but you can skip around in the chapters to find the camera company that you're most interested in. And the first deal that I see with Canon is the Canon EOS R, and they have it at B&H and Adorama for $15.99. Now, one thing you will see from B&H and Adorama is you can choose their accessory kits, and most of the time it does not raise the price at all, and you just get some extra free stuff. So I always recommend doing that if you like free stuff. Moving on, we have the Canon EOS RP at $8.99, which is $100 off the already pretty cheap price that the Canon EOS RP is. I can see this for a beginner. If you're a beginner, you want to jump into photography. This is a great way to get in with Canon and their new lens mount. Can be used as a great B cam if you own one of the other Canons. I have the EOS R myself. I absolutely love it. You can see it up here on the shelf if it's not too blurry. So when it comes to lens deals with the Canon RF mount, there really isn't much deals going on, basically because of all the shortages that is kind of hit all these different companies. They don't really discount this stuff as much as they once would. But one deal that I did see is off the 35 f 1.8 macro lens. You can find that for $399, which is $100 off. Now, personally, I have the 85 f 2 and it is a macro as well. In my experience, it is slightly cheap in the hands. It's a very plasticky feel and it's kind of a loud lens, but I've gotten pretty great performance out of it, at least performance that I'd be happy with, especially considering most of the RF lenses are very expensive. Uh, so this budget lens, I'm sure it will be of high quality. It will probably be a little loud though if you're using it for video, but for macro photography and some B-roll, it will probably work just fine. Now, one interesting non-Canon RF lens, which is the Laowa 24 probing lens, you can get like $150 off of that. So if you're into any kind of probing, then maybe you'll want this kind of lens. I can't even, I can't even get through it. So moving over to Nikon and their Z mount, I did see a couple hundred dollars savings here and there for the Nikon Z6 II and the Z7 II but they're not that big of savings. But one saving that I did see that was pretty incredible was the Nikon Z5. You can get that for $400 off, which brings it right in line with the Canon EOS RP pricing. So to me, that sounds like a really good deal. Now, granted, I don't know very much about Nikon or at least as much about Nikon as I do with Canon and Sony. I do know with some of the older mirrorless Nikons, the autofocus isn't quite there. I haven't heard too much about the Z5, but it does have dual card slots, and it looks like it would be a great B cam if you already have maybe one of the Z6 or the Z7. Or if, again, you're trying to get into photography or get into videography, and maybe you've been hearing about that incredible Z9 and you wanna be a part of the Nikon system, well, this will be a great entry level point so you can start getting in and getting some of the lenses for the Z mount. Speaking of lenses, the Nikon Z mount, I did see quite a few more cells than I did with the Canon RF mount. And one of those cells was for the 14 to 24 F 2.8. You could save $200. So if I was a vlogger in say the Nikon realm, 
then that might be the lens for me and that might be the lens for you. But an even better deal that I have seen and in my opinion, probably a better deal for vloggers is the 14 to 30 F4 and you can get that for $200 off as well, bringing it to $1,096. And the final deal that stuck out to me and the Nikon Z mount was the 24 to 70 F 2.8, which is kind of your bread and butter lens. They have it for $300 off, which seems like a pretty good deal to me. But just so you know, there is a 24 to 105 F4 coming out as well. So if you would like to maybe save a little bit of money and get that extra room, and you don't mind sacrificing a little bit of the extra light, then you may wanna go with that instead. So moving over to Sony, I did see a couple hundred dollars off the a7 III, which I know that the a7 IV just come out and most people will probably be more interested into jumping into that but it is a couple hundred dollars off. That is still a great camera. And if you'd like to save some money and maybe again, you're just kind of getting into photography, that has been a great camera for a long time. And that may be worth saving the extra money and going with that. But the big savers that I saw out of the Sony system was the Sony a7R4A, which comes with that better screen. They had that for $29.90, which saves you $500 and is a great price. So if you're into landscapes or portraits, that is an absolutely awesome camera for you. But if you'd like to save even more money and still get a very high megapixel camera, then you can go with the EOS R3. It is a little bit older now, but if you know the type of photography that you shoot, and you're good with the 45 megapixels, then you can save $800 and get it for $2,000 now. Now moving over to Sony lenses, we have the Sony FE 24 to 105 F4, and you can save $300 off of that lens, which brings the price right in line with the Sigma 24 to 70 F 2.8. So you can kind of pick and choose, would you rather have the extra stop of light or the extra reach? I personally still like my Sigma, but it looks like this Sony is a, a really good option as well. And I know some people were having some dust issues with the Sigma. So if you're maybe doing a lot more outdoor work, possibly the Sony would be better off for you. Granted, I've never used a Sony, so I'm not exactly sure. A couple of other great deals I saw was coming from Tamron. They had the 17 to 28 with $100 off, as well as the 75 to 180 with $100 off. These are very popular lenses, and a lot of times they don't have any sales on those, so it was great to see at least $100 off. Now quickly moving over to Fujifilm, you can get the X-T4 for $200 off, and that comes with the extra battery grip. I still personally think that the Fujifilm X-T4 is, as of right now, the best APS-C camera that is really out. I know that the autofocus isn't the best, but pretty much everything else as far as the spec department is better than the competition. Now, a big saving from Fujifilm was off the GFX 50R. That is a medium format camera. It is a little bit older now, but they had it for $1,500 off, bringing it down to $3,000 and making it a very affordable medium format camera. Now, one thing to be aware of, there is the GFX 50S2 and it is only $4,000. It is a little bit newer of a camera and it has very similar specs, but I think it has a faster processor. I personally like the ergonomics better. And so it may be worth it for you to spend the extra money if you're wanting to go to medium format and just go up to that one. But still having a $3,000 medium format camera with $1,500 off, I mean, it's a pretty awesome deal. Now, finally going over to the extras that photographers and videographers need is storage. I can never get enough storage. Now on the SD cards, I really didn't see many great deals. There was some deals on the CF Express Type B cards, but there really wasn't anything uh, to write home about as of yet. But maybe you'll see more of those on uh, Black Friday itself or maybe even Cyber Monday. But where I did see some pretty great deals was in the storage department on SSDs or external SSDs. I saw the Samsung T7 one terabyte for 109, which is $60 off, which I think is a great deal because if you go over to the two terabyte, it still comes in at 250, which usually they try to give you a better deal 
scale the larger storage you go up to but if you know anything about math then you know that 109 dollars times two does not equal 250 dollars so right here you could buy two one terabytes and still save some money off of the two terabyte card now maybe you just want a two terabyte and if that's the case then go for it but I did see a better option if you're looking for more storage, and that is from SanDisk, and this is one of their faster SSDs as well. And they have the four terabyte option, and it was for $450 for a four terabyte, which to me is a very good deal for a fast external SSD. So if you're wanting a lot of storage and maybe an external SSD that you can work off of or access very fast, then that may be the deal for you. Now, another big deal that I saw in the lighting department was from Godox, and they had the VL150, the 200, and the 300. So a while back, Gerald Undone, who does some of the most uh, scientific camera reviews and lighting reviews that there is, did one on the Godox lights, and he found that they were on par with the very popular aperture lights for a fraction of the cost. And they have the VL150 coming in at $299 with $100 savings. So that is 25% off. They have the VL300, which is the light I'm using right now, for $250 off, which is a savings of about 33%. The best deal that they have is off the VL200, 200 which they have for 349 which is 200 dollars off or right about 36 percent off personally i think that the vl 200 for a key light for most people will absolutely work perfectly this vl 300 is a little bit of an overkill so i think if you would like to save the extra space and the money then go with the vl 200 but those are just some of the deals that i've seen for black friday that's popped up now keep looking for yourself you can look at the deal zone on bnh and a lot of great deals pop up there i know last year i got a monitor that usually retails between 2500 and 3000 dollars for a thousand dollars so that was absolutely incredible and i jumped on that now i'm not sure if they will have any deals as big as that with all the supply chain issues but hopefully they'll have some great deals as well but those are just some of the deals that i've seen drop in the comment section below and let us all know what deals that you've seen and maybe help some other people out if you've liked this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and have a happy thanksgiving and until next time peace